where Capernaum, you can see now the Sea of Galilee, so calm. And I want you to see the most important port, which is not so big, but the water here were a little bit hotter than the rest, and the fish were here. You can see the bird, ready for the fish to come. And that's where Jesus saw two disciples. Simon was one of them, and his brother Andrew, and said, come and be a fisherman of men. Now, I don't know about you, if someone, a stranger, will come to you, will say, all right, we have to ask our wife, we have to do that, and that, and that. Immediately, they threw their net, they, uh, and they went and followed him. Then, this is the port. The site of Capernaum, Capernaum, another option to pronounce it, is big, and it's usually, uh, mostly, um, archaeological site which is beautiful to visit then I assume that they are Catholic I didn't know it they have taken pictures with St. Peter as the first Pope the one who holds the kingdom to heaven and you can see the fish next to it and the floating church is above the house of St. Peter mother in law and we know that from the age of 30 until 33, when he started his mission, he stayed in that house. Then they built a church above it, but you can see the house of St. Peter Mother Law. Believe it, you don't need to climb all the church, and if you're not Catholic and you are against churches, you can see it without climbing to the church. But if you will climb to the church, you will see a beautiful view, and, and from the center of it, you will be able to see the house of St. Peter Mother Law from above. How do we know that it's his house? We found so many graffitis from early centuries that say we came to visit you. Our Lord. It is a lot of energy in that place. And in the other side, you can see the synagogue that Jesus was preaching. He cured the, the man with dry hand there. And you can see that it was built with limestone. White stones, not black stones, volcanic stones, like we used to have here in that area. And let's go into the synagogue for one minute and stay with me. But I want you to understand that the modern church, modern 4th century church, was built on top of the 1st century church, which made of volcanic stones, basil stones. And I will show it to you soon. And it looked like another basilic. Churches and uh, synagogue structure at that time was the same. The synagogue was facing to Jerusalem, like that synagogue, and the church is facing to the east. Then it looks like that. Two stories building. We don't know if the women use the upper part. That's not for sure. But you can see here the first century synagogue, basil stones, volcanic kind of stones, and above it, the fourth century synagogue. Uh, the Franciscans who excavated that place believe that it was built by the Christians themselves to show uh, uh, as a memorial site. I'm not sure of it, but again, I cannot prove it. In a different way, I believe that it was a battle between the new church and the established Judaism. We are better than you. Look how beautiful it is. And let's go into the synagogue. We'll let them take a picture. And we are entering through the main nave. And look how beautiful it is. And you can see here, just a moment, a first century um, church that was excavated. We excavated that part. And People used to sit around, not like in a church, because you, you you, they used to preach. In Judaism, there's no one way. Uh, you always, there's always a different way. Then uh, when they argue with Jesus, it's not against Jesus. It's to show Jesus that you can do that diff in a different way. Or Jesus did the same thing, to show the others that you can do that the same thing. You must understand that Jesus was a Jew, just like any other Jew at that time. Then... This is the synagogue from the other side. Let me show you the remains of the second story synagogue from the first century that leads, yeah, those are the stairs, leads to the second story of it. 
the green, the yellow, sorry, the red roof is of the Greek Orthodox part. And the wall that you see here is actually a mark. Uh, that's mine. I'm Catholic. This is my uh, property. Uh, the Greek Orthodox property is at the other side. Then Capernaum was a very rich place. First of all, it was, um, it was um, a border. It was a border between two sons of King Herod. And if you're crossing one place, let's say from Antipas, Herod's Antipas to Herod's Philippus, you have to pay money. And that's why Matthew was a tax collector. And agriculture, see agriculture. And look at that, wheat mills. Um, a lot of them. Is that a, it was a factory of wheat mills? Or maybe they used to grain the wheat here in that area. But still, it shows you that it was quite a rich place. And Jesus said, two women will grain the wheat. One of them will left with me. One of them is not. Then let's continue. You can see. Uh, it looks like Indians. And Africans. Let me show you some other things. And I know that it's, uh, you're watching it for the, more than six minutes. But if you want to know everything about Capernaum, this is the time. So many evidence. So many evidence. And maybe I can see a menorah here. And to show you that it was a very important place, then this is Via Maris. I can actually see the mark of it that shows you that that was um, the highway. And it might be Boaz and Yachin, which is part of the Torah school. It's called, here it is. And look how beautiful are the decoration. And let me show you some Hebrew words from the 4th century, but look at the capital here with the menorah and the shofar. And maybe that's how the Torah school arc looks like with um, wheels. Beautiful, isn't it? Capernaum, Capernaum, December 2019. Such a beautiful place. Don't miss it. Israel, Sea of Galilee.